Do you know goodbye to rock you all? Hajimete kikimasu. Now this song's title is a little bit confusing to me because when I search for the song on YouTube using a desktop versus using an iPad, which is usually what I use to watch, the title's a little bit different. So I don't know what is the actual name of this song, but it's more or less goodbye to rock and roll or something like that. So you guys help me out. And of course, the last song that I listened to to you has been a treat. So now we're gonna get on to it. Uta wo kita kara kashi wo manabimashou. Soshite Kyuzenri no Kanyusha de Road to Royal Scandal hajimasu no de watashi no channel so subscribe now. Go stop! English lyrics will be playing the video that I'll be watching, but you guys won't be able to see here, unfortunately, due to editing. So there they are. To you know, goodbye to rock you all. Ikuzo. The tone is great. Oh, here it comes, man. That to you. Complexity. Wow, 60 FPS. That guitar notes is so pleasant. Hero's vocals is so bright. So good. The syllables, man, they're so nice. Do you hear that? I want to sing those two lines, but I can't. That two lines is so complex. They leave you hanging for more, right? <laughs> Well, to you from the last two songs that I remember is that they are definitely not simple. Now, this song is hella catchy, but at the same time, so complex, making you unsure of how you should really feel. Is this song really major? Yes, no, yes, but it's more than that. It has this other notes and skills that they use specifically inside to project that feel out. The one thing that makes it really hard to sing the two lines in the chorus is because you want to feel a certain way, but the music is not allowing you to really run out to the field and just shout out out and be happy and just embrace the sun because the music is holding you back and then when the fast part comes in of course you will let loose that part oh so good Hiroi's vocals are ah, so bright so clear it's almost insane how clear it is her voice is like 8k in resolution 
in sound. I like how the start of the song it was just so strategically short to make you feel a certain ways and then it move on so quickly. The verses, I don't even know the thing I'm thinking about is what we call the worst in a 2U song, but during supposedly the worst, so good. Tone wise to fit the agenda of rock and roll, super sweet. The guitar solo at the end, my god, that oh. Lyrics wise, what an amazing story. Think back to the times when you're in school and you thought that, hey, just because there's another person who look exactly like me standing next to me in whatever school clubs that you're on, you're thinking that, hey, I can do the same thing too. And of course, teachers and peers, when they look at you, you represent. But then sometimes reality kicks in. You might not be that special talent that you think you are. And in this case, this is the story of someone wanting to be in a rock and roll life but sick of being compared. And all the time, the confidence comes down. So that's why this person is saying farewell to the rock and roll you because that's not the rock and roll lifestyle that I want. One thing that's interesting is that at the end of the song, this person in the story has come to terms that because you are who you are and I am who I am. Hence, that's why I'm standing here because you're standing there. That's a pretty powerful message of differentiation. Love this. Also, do you think I should do a full album reaction of 2U's music? Or recommend me any other Japanese music that you think I should be checking out?